Hello everyone, you are welcome to the 13th episode of the Quick Civil Series course for beginners. In this episode, I will be showing you how you can export your steel member from AutoCAD to Quick Civil Series, which simply means we will be importing the drawing from Quick Civil Series. All right. So this is um a, a truss, you know, it's just a simple truss. So um it has been created here in AutoCAD. So it can be any kind of truss. It can be as complex as it may be. Just um, model it here and then you can just um, transfer it. So everything you see here is a single line. All right. So if you see this is a single line, it is not a straight line. I'm talking about the bottom cord. For example, the bottom cord, you see this breaks at this point because every joint has to be pin jointed. So you don't just connect your bottom cord from this position up to this position saying it is just one. All right. So if this is um okay, make sure it is saved as DXL, all right? So when you want to save it, make sure it is saved as um DXL, all right? And then you can give it a name. So I have saved it already. You can see it's trust, whatever. So I'll just um close that. So um let me close this. Do I want to save? No. All right. So I can minimize this or I can even close it down. Um, this is um the eight point zero version of Quick Civil Series. Um, today let's use the nine point zero. I think we've been using the eight point zero as well. So um, I'll be using the nine point zero. It's still the same, the same way of using. So the first thing you do is you create a new project. It is very essential. So I uh, I click on yes, and then if there's anything you need to set here, you know, just go ahead and set it. So right now, just click on apply changes. All right. So um. The next thing to do is to import the drawing you know we need to import the drawing so any name you need to give this you can go ahead and save it first but and that's not a big deal this is what i mean i mean you can just click on save and then you give it a name and then you you know you place it where it needs to be placed so let me just go ahead and import my drawing so here you can see this is the one we used when we were trying to import the layout but this time around we are not importing a layout what we are importing is a steel element all right which is the steel truss so you click on this and then just click on yes and then you look for the file all right so this is it truss then you click on open and then you see it has dropped as it should drop okay so um let me just reduce the scale a little bit so you have to come to view and then under the drawing scale let me just put it in um 125 okay so right now i think it is fitting on the screen and then you will see every member is labeled okay it is labeled as e okay so this is member one you can see it's e1 this is e2 this is e3 and this is e4 all right then this is e5 e6 e7 e8 up to e33 okay so there are 33 members all together the bottom cord the top cord the vertical and the diagonal brace okay so all of this um they are all labeled one after the other so this is the first step in creating your steel truss first of all you have to you know bring it here then after bringing it here the next thing to do you know when you come to your steel structure here then you can just go ahead and then you know insert some point load and then you know you insert some supports you do the analysis and then you can also check your trust modeling and then you can go ahead and do the section design and then do the detailing so for this particular video i've shown you how you can model you know you model in autocad and then you import it to quick civil series all right so in the next video we will go ahead by putting the support inserting the load and then you know moving ahead with the um with the with the course all right so if you enjoyed this video kindly give it a like and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet consider giving me a subscription thank you for watching